Good afternoon, Victory Santa Rosa. Welcome to our midday prayer. And I'm Josh from the Campus Missionaries here. I'm excited to uh, encourage everyone to pray and to be inspired by the Word of God. So today I'm not alone. I'm with uh, our two Campus Missionaries, uh, Sam and Hazel. Hello, Sam and Hazel. Hi, uh, good morning. Good afternoon. Uh, Sam and Hazel is both in, ano, in currently is enrolled in campus school of campus ministry so ano yung namimiss niyo sa Ms. Hazel sa ano youth service ano actually ako yung mga students na physically mo sila nakikita tapos nakakasama and also yung hype nila na nakakahawa <laughs> Yung sobrang oh, the service. Yung, you know? I really agree dyan. Kasi di ba yung students kapag praise and worship, sobrang ang saya-saya nila. Tignan, nagtatakuan pa sila. And all. So yun talaga yung sobrang namimiss. <laughs> okay. Ako namimiss ko naman yung ano. Uh, Siyempre, namimiss ko yung mga sudyante. Namimiss ko yung ano opportunity to pray for them. Okay. Hey. Okay. Okay. reaction nila eh, pag inas mo sila ng prayer request. Kuya, ganito, and when when we ask their prayer request, nalalaman natin yung uh, journey nila with God. Nalalaman natin yung status nila sa school nila, yung walk nila kay God. It help us uh, have an insight ng what we can do for them. So, actually, nung pinag-pray natin sila noon, nalaman ko na puro, puro examinations pala nila. Kaya tayo nagkaroon ng, um, yung ano, pina Pwede silang mag- study area sa, yeah. uh, sa center natin. Mm-hmm. Dami pa, dami ko pa namimiss sa ano, youth service. Yung worship, tama yun. Yung hype nila doon. Ang pag- <laughs> pag- na. But uh, I hope na, ano, uh, let's pray, na ma- malip na yung ano, music so that we can continue. Oo nga. For our words for today, let us read from Acts 3, verse 1 to 10. This is Peter and John. They, they are about to go to the temple because they want to uh, pray to God and just to ano, seek God. Same thing today, na, ano, na, na ramdaman natin. We want to gather together, we want to pray, we want to go to the temple or to the worship services. Serve center natin, pero we cannot do it. So at this time, let, let me read Acts 3 verse 1 to 10. Now Peter and John were going up to the temple at the hour of prayer, the night hour. So we can see Peter and John are always together. Kumbaga, solid friends. Solid uh, barkada sila. They are intimate companion. May ganun ba kayo, ano? Friends, Sam and Hazel. They love one another. They are always together. Uh, the scholars believe that they are together uh, during the trials of Jesus. And they are together when this, Jesus Christ was resurrected. And they are going to the uh, temple to pray at the ninth hour. Meaning, ito yung 3 p.m. na uh, pray sila. This is the time that uh, bago mag Sabbath. So people are gathering to pray for the last time before Sabbath. So ibig sabihin, sobrang daming tao nito. And a man lame from birth was being carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple that is called the beautiful gate, to ask alms of those entering the temple. So, syempre, madaming tao, what they do, not, not Peter and John, but some of the people there, they will bring a lame man so that they can ask for alms. So, I just wanna, ano, I was just wanna give a context of what is, what alms is. Hebrew word for alms is sedaka. It means justice or righteousness. So, sa amin, Hazel, pag, pag nagbigay tayo ng alms sa mga sa mahirap, we are re-establishing them to the right order. And that is justice. It produces justice. So, I have an example here. If you give your cloak to the poor, it will help him sleep in comfort at night. That is justice or that is sedaka before Yahweh. Na ano, ang galing, no? Alms is something that uh, when, 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 you, when you give it to other people, you're, that is justice before God. Because we are helping them re-establish to the right order. And so on. 
when ano when uh, the lame man saw them seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple the lame man asked uh, asked to receive alms and Peter directed his gaze at him as as did John and said look at us and he fixed his attention on them expecting to receive something from them in the following verse but Peter said to him i have no silver and gold but what i do have i give it to you in the name of jesus christ of nazareth rise up and walk and he took him by the right hand and raised him up and immediately his feet and ankles were made strong and leaping up he stood and began to walk and entered the temple with them walking and leaping and praising god and at that moment when he saw peter and john it was he received the the true alms that he was even he was uh waiting for the longest time it was the day that he was sleeping for joy wala nang ibang araw na mas masaya siya when he received that because again yung alms no it it means sedaka it means justice or righteousness so when when peter and john uh giving him the er, alms that uh, he was asking In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. He was, it was the happiest day of his life because it was really the thing that he needed. It was, he felt that justice was served that day. He was reestablished to the right order. Remember yung meaning ng Alps, Siddhaka? When we give something to poor, we help them reestablish to the right order. So, nung nakalakad siya, uh, he was established to the right order. And that's justice before Yahweh. He received the right arms. He was so happy that day. Wala na ibang araw na mas masaya siya bukod sa araw na yun. Because he was reestablished to the right order. And it was justice. It was justice before Yahweh. We, 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 may, we may think that uh, he was being um he was there for the longest time uh, at the beautiful gate asking for alms but on that day it was really what he was need his need deep inside in his heart that was met because of because of the name of the lord jesus christ was was mentioned Obaga, uh, it was the power of jesus christ that established him to the right word it is a very uh good story it, it it's it's a great story it would help us have an uh, idea ano ba yung alms ano ba yung ano ba yung justice for the poor ano ba yung what they really need is it is it really money is it really what they need is to be reestablished to the right order and it was delivered it was met because of the name of the lord jesus christ and and um on the following verse All the people saw him walking and praising God. And they recognized him. Ito yun eh. They recognized as the one who sat at the beautiful gate. Siya yun, at the temple. He was asking for alms. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him. It was a, ano, um, naalala ko no, nung, High school ako sa ano, dyan sa Santa Rosa Bayan. Siguro may kilala din kayo ano, beggar on the street. Ang suot lang is ano, uh, mga basahan or madumi siya. What if one day you saw him nakasuit? So, it will amaze you. Ano nangyari dito? Ano nangyari sa kanya? It will ano, make you wonder, what ha- what happened to this man? Or what ha- ganun yung nangyari sa kanya. Because these people was... Familiar to them, lagi siya nandun sa gate eh, and he was asking for alms. When he received the right alms or the true alms, people were amazed because it is the work of our God. Something that would make the people wonder, what what happened to this man? So I want to end with this ano, simple line. The name of Jesus Christ brings justice. Yes, nakita natin na heal siya Oon, in the name of Jesus Christ, there's healing. But the, uh, deep inside of that, Jesus Christ was advancing justice. 
he was he he reestablished the person to the right order kasi god did, did not did not uh did not create humanity uh, with disorder hindi naman tayo ginawa ni god na ano mapilay pilay lang tayo sa buong buhay natin so what god was doing in that moment he was he reestablished the man to the right order and that is sedaka before yahweh that's justice before yahweh god brings justice the name of jesus christ brings justice it's something that we should see it's not just the healing part when god advances his justice and righteousness people will be healed and they will praise god that's it for our um, encouragement i hope you are encouraged remember that when we do this together there's power when we gather online there's power when we pray together uh, we believe that the the prayer of the righteous man is powerful so again uh, let's just remember that the name of Jesus our lord brings justice it reestablishes us to the right order just like what happened to the lame man all right before we pray i want to ask some uh some and ano uh, hazel ano yung ano um something that uh, strike you sa verse na to ah, sige ah uh, yung sa akin naman ang na encourage ako na all those time na ano naghihintay yung uh, lame man for something that would uh, restore him reestablish him na akala niya makukuha lang niya dun sa sa alms na money na nareceive niya but did, did he know na ang makakapag establish and uh, put him into order talaga and restore him not just physically but even uh, yung uh, spiritual healing din niya is yung name ni Jesus. And yun nga yung ano eh, pinakakailangan lang talaga natin in life, si Jesus. Greatest yes. need. Ako, ano, parang for me, imagining the person who was waiting for so long for a hope na mag-sikit na kanina nung class. Miracle kasi yun, diba? And this is, anyway, God displaying His power to to, 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 to that person, not just to that mm. person, you know, for the people to see na talaga siya. And that yeah. is, uh, what is uh, doing sa, sa panahon natin ngayon na, na because it is written lang dun sa nakaraan na yun pero God is still the same we could still uh, we could still claim the the things that uh, did uh, dun sa ano sa, sa panahon nila na yun and that is uh, really to display His power and yun nga na sobrang ganda din that they go together naalala ko lang tinanong ni Josh kanina may mga kaibigan ba kayo yung gano'n <laughs> whatever it takes um, no. para po sa campus ganyan and I really what we're doing talaga that we go to the campuses again with our friends uh, we're not alone <laughs> so we do mission together so ano um, thank you Sam and Hazel uh, before we pray lang I just remember we are in this situation, uh, enhanced community quarantine. Let, let's all believe that God will reestablish everything back to its order. God is a God of order. He will reestablish. It is God will, will advance justice to everyone. He will reestablish everything to the right order. So um, today we'll be praying for our next generation, our very own. Ang mahal, ma- mahal na mahal nating generasyon. Okay, pray natin siya. Um, Nam, can you start praying for our student? Um, God, thank you for today that we get to pray uh, for all the people who take part in fathering and leading the next generation. God, maraming salamat sa buhay nila that they uh, really take uh, time to invest uh, their efforts para po uh, to still minister and disciple the students amidst the, the quarantine that we are experiencing uh, right now, God. Uh, we pray that um, in this season, God, all the more that you would give them grace and you would sustain them in every way. Um, we pray, God, that uh, in this season, mas lalo namin hindi malus yung heart mo for the next generation, yung heart mo to raise the next generation and to believe in the next generation, God. Uh, we pray, God, na uh, 
all the online efforts uh, would be uh, a way for us to to still minister and to still encourage the students that amidst the the uncertainty and the confusion that uh, that is happening around us um, they would uh, have this faith that is uh, anchored in you to see that that um, that in the our situation god uh, you are in control and yung plan mo would prevail marami salamat sa mga buhay ng mga taong to god and I pray that you would uh, continue to bless them and even their families. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Lord, we pray. Uh, we agree for uh, to that prayer that we pray to And we just want to continue praying for the next generation. And thank you, God, for loving them with that everlasting love. And mm-hmm. thank you that you are the one who will remind them of security in you. That as they read their Bible, as they hear the word of you, that they pray that they will uh, have this fresh revelation from you, fresh encounter, Panginoon, that... Uh, you will send people that they, that they that they will father those students, those uh, next generation God who uh, that these people will lead, that uh, will equip, will establish this uh, youth, Lord God, into your word, into your truth, Lord God. And thank you that uh, the sides of all the pandemic or negativities na nakikita ng ibang tao, Lord, you will give the eyes of faith to these students that they will okay. be the one who will stand firm. And as they hear your word, katulad nung beggar uh, na napag-usapan namin kanina, Lord, they will rejoice, Lord God, they will have this full confidence, Lord God, because this is reminded of their purpose in their life, God. Lord, thank you that you are the one who will uh, use our uh, students, please use, Lord God, to proclaim and demonstrate the gospel, not just to their families, but even to their mm-hmm. neighbors, Lord God, that they will yeah. have this courage both regard to to stand and to speak life to those people lord lord uh, thank you lang god now we can delight in you that we can always come to you that we can always uh, tell everything that we feel it that we can always pass every anxiety worries that mm. we have or god that you are there to remind us that uh we are loved, that you are with us, that you see everything that is happening, Lord God, sa buhay ng bawat isa, Lord God, and see that you will uh, end this pandemic soon, na hindi na kami uh, magpatanong pa, Lord, kung kailan ba ito, but we will just have, Lord God, this confidence that you are in control, that you are sovereign, Lord God, that we will maximize every single moment that we are with our families, we will maximize every time, Lord God, na serve namin yung family na and we will delight in uh, in those moments for that na kasama namin yung family namin that we can serve them as well. Thank you God for everything that uh, we are learning this season. We are so mm. grateful Lord God na ikaw yung uh, na experience na namin Lord God. And I pray that you will cover uh, the ears Lord God of the youth Lord God from all the noise and negativities that is telling the world to them. But Lord you will open their ears Lord God for them to hear mm-hmm. your uh, uh, your voice, your word, your God, and thank you, God, for, uh, for your love, your God, and for the inner peace and comfort that you are giving in our hearts. But in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Lord, uh, we lift you up, our, uh, the next generation. God, you love them. God, uh, tinataas po namin sa inyo lahat ng mga kabataan, mga susunod na salilahin, Lord. Mm-hmm. Lord, salamat dahil uh, because you're a God that will continue to hold uh, justice to the next generations na nadarating, Lord. Salamat, God, dahil uh, the next generation know you, the next generation will put the trust in you. Uh, the next generation will uh, realize that you are uh, the great God that they need in their lives. Lord, salamat, God, for what you're doing today. Even for the Lord, I believe God that you are doing something. I pray that you will be able to see those things first. I pray God that our students will be um, able to see uh, what they're doing God, behind uh, the scenes. That we don't see but we believe God that we're doing something. Lord, thank uh, for today. I pray that we will continue to seek you magiging productive pa din kami, magiging, uh, may time pa rin, magkakaroon kami ng deeper 
moment with you, uh, intimate time with you, Lord. Lord, I pray, Lord, for the campuses, God, na dami, dami nilang binabagawan sa schedules. I pray that you give them wisdom. I give them wisdom at they will continue their academic schooling. Dapat, Panginoon, continue to protect uh, the next generation and the families, Lord. Protect them, not just physically, but even spiritually. Salamat ka. This is our humble season. Ito ang aming samot na langit sa patanis sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you everyone for joining us in our midday prayer. So thank you, Sam and Hazel, for joining thank you. us. Yes, um, we hope... Thank you, Josh. Galingan niyo sa school. Magkakapod um, <laughs> din tayo one day. Yeah. Salamat. Thank you for your hard work then sa school. Alright, guys, some announcement. We have a study service uh, tomorrow. That's 8 a.m., 10 a.m., 12 noon, 2 p.m., 4 p.m., and 6 p.m. And we also ha- uh, do morning devotional uh, every 7 a.m., Monday to Friday. We also have this, something like this, midday, prayer. Uh, that's Monday to Saturday, well done. And for our youth service, our youth campus ministry, we have Sunday. We do, we read uh, one uh, book, uh, one one chapter in the book of Psalms. Mm-hmm. So, ano yan, that's every 1 p.m., Monday to Saturday. And we also have different prayer meetings in our in our areas, in Santa Rosa, Bayan, in Silbago, in Lugali, in Bintan, and in Cabuyang. Yeah. We also have good service every Friday. Yeah. So if you have a um, clean age in your home, in fact, then you can follow us in, in, in every nation campus Santa Rosa. Tag them in our good services. I'm sure that we can do it. So that's it for today. Thank you for joining us. We hope that you're encouraged. You are charged <laughs> with the word of God. And I hope that you would see to, you know, to give something to other people. And that is Zedaka before Yahweh. Just this before God. Thank you, everyone. God bless you. Bye-bye, Sam. Bye. 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 <laughs>